Peace, it's Equality of Fragrances, coming to you from Prince George's County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference, the understanding of my cipher. It's peace for all those new to the channel and those who have been supporting me since day one. I humbly appreciate all your support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I drop some new videos. All of that goes a long way in helping the channel grow and it costs you nothing to do. With that being said, come on in, sit down, and let's be. I'm back. You miss me? As I said in my post, my phone was broken. I used my phone to record videos and the type of phone I had, they just wasn't getting re-ups on at Best Buy. So I had to wait a little bit and kind of settle on something else. But I think we're going to make it do what it do. With that being said, thank you all for having patience in the channel and constantly supporting you. Today's video is going to be a tag video that I'm going to start. The tag video is white t-shirt fragrances. Now, before we get into that, one, I must define what a white t-shirt fragrance is. To me, a white t-shirt fragrance is something that when it's so hot or humid, you just want to put something on that's refreshing, that's going to actually be great in extreme hot weather i mean i'm talking weather that's so hot you only want to wear a white t-shirt because any other color is just going to make you feel hot now what kind of different composition makeups are those fragrances going to be well to me those fragrances are going to consist of fragrances that are heavy in citrus maybe musky but not in a mallet musky more soapy it could have some floral aspects in the in the middle it could have a very light ambery base, but most of the time you'll get woody, musky, maybe aquatic scents. Something that's just going to make you feel vibrant is, is how I would describe a white t-shirt fragrance. So now that I defined it, let me go ahead and start off the tags, tagging the people who I want to tag in the video. First and foremost, I'm going to tag CJ City TV, always shows love. I want to send that, um, see what vi what fragrances he would choose for his white t-shirts. Of course, I want to tag my guy, Big Beard Business. Again, another guy. We chopped it up a couple times in the inbox and wrapped a little bit. I would like him. I think this would be a good video for him to tackle as, as much as he's been in the game. I think that would be a good video for that. Uh, I would also like to tag um, Darren, Bowtie Fragrance Guy. He has a really good collection he's picked up a lot of bangers that i'm sure will make this list but i'll be interested in seeing what he gonna put together and i would also like to tag mm, i don't know let me i'm gonna make it it can be an open tag if i don't tag you but those are three people i'm gonna tag if i think of somebody else i'll tag them and i'll message them in the inbox oh tg tg lt Reviews Ross Carlos. Uh, I like to tag him because I think he's gonna also bring some fire to this list. With that being said, let's start off the show. I'm gonna give you 10 fragrances, no honorable mentions, and I'm putting them in no order. I'm just gonna describe each fragrance. I'm gonna try to make it quick. Starting off at number 10, sometimes in life as a man, you want to smell like a man. You don't want it to be no confusion as far as who walked in the room and what they're smelling. But sometimes you want to be a refined man at that. Well, with this fragrance, you will be. And that's coming from the house of Hubagant, and that's Fougere Royale. This is the father of all Fougere fragrances. Of course, not this bottle. This is a 2010 version. But I believe this is the first Fougere fragrance to ever come out. What is a Fougere fragrance? It is a barbershop fragrance. Something will get aromatic. It's green. Has some citrus in it. Some florals in oak moss and tonka bean has to be in the base. An amazing barbershop scent fragrance. You don't get the best longevity, maybe about six hours, but this is the fragrance that wears so light and refreshing that the heat actually makes it a little bit better. Because in the cold weather, I mean, if you're working in the office, it'll be great. But overall, I love this scent. I believe every man should have a fitted suit, some nice dress shoes, um, a tux, at least one you should own in Fougere's Hubagant, um, Fougere Royale by Hubagant. Coming in number nine is one of my favorite Neroli fragrances within my collection. It smells absolutely divine, especially in high heat, but you must love Neroli. And it's an affordable fragrance. This is coming from the house of Al Harmain, and this is Neroli Canvas. 
this is amazing. Now, people have say that this is a clone of Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. I believe all these somewhat Neroli fragrances tend to smell like Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino anyway, but all the citruses in here. Of course, you have those beautiful citrus white florals and orange blossom and neroli. You get the leaves of the orange tree. You get that pedigree. You get some bergamot and you get some lemon, I believe, with a woody, ambery, musky base. So the musk is going to add some cleanness to it. The woodiness, most of the time you're going to get a lot of woodiness in these citrus fragrances. You're always going to have a woody base for most of these type of fragrances. And it's ambery, that's where you'll get the sweetness from. The amber isn't too heavy, it just works to perfection. And I get very good longevity, I get eight hours in this. Good performance. And that's number nine, Neroli Cam. Coming in, number eight is like walking through a lemon field. This is a lemon woody fragrance. Extremely realistic lemon. Now, with that said, as people smell fragrances like this, oftentimes they are reminded with like lemon pledge, and I get that. But if you like a lemony fragrance, this is one you must at least get your nose on. And this is from the house of Anique Goutal, and that's Oda Hardin. Lemon woodiness, that is pretty much all you're gonna get within this fragrance popping off your skin. I believe it has regular lemon and Sicilian lemon. You have cypress, which adds to the woodiness. You got other things going on, but it's just lemon woodiness. A really good scent. This one is the Eau de Parfum. I'm getting about six hours, maybe six and a half if I'm pushing it. But other than that, clean, refreshing is what you're gonna smell like. And of course, with all these fragrances, they are mass appealing. You can't go wrong with them. This is from the house of Anique Goutal, and that's Oda Harding. Coming in number seven is a fragrance y'all know I absolutely love. This is my favorite of the fragrance that was released when it was released. This fragrance really doesn't need any introduction. This is a fragrance you wear when it's thought outside. Not hot, but thought outside. This is sun dress season. Men, get your Nike sweat, point, sweat shorts above the knees and let it hang. Man, we outside and we are raw dog in air. This is coming from the house of Killian and this is Roses on Ice. This is a one for one. Smells exactly like Hendrix Gin. It is absolutely refreshing and divine. This is unisex. Women love this fragrance, man. Uh, and surprisingly, I get very good longevity with this. I'm getting eight hours with this. It performs like a champ. I've talked about it ad nauseum. Y'all know how I love this fragrance. This is Sunday Brunch with Endless Mimosas. That's Roses on Ice by Chilling. Coming in number six is pretty much the epitome of a white t-shirt fragrance. This fragrance is so refreshing, man, golly. This is Lemonade, Fresh Squeezed Lemonade. If you've been in Fragcon for some time, you already know what this fragrance is. It's a classic. And this is Dior Home Cologne from the House of Dior. Absolutely amazing scent. Now, some people say they complain they don't get good longevity. I'm gonna be honest, I get about anywhere from six to six and a half hours on this, which with this kind of makeup of a fragrance, that's all I really ask. I have some fragrances that go longer than that that are citrusy, and that's going some of those are gonna be mentioned later on. But when I can get five to six hours, that's all I really need for a great white t-shirt fragrance. Stunning collaborating bergamot, grapefruit blossom, some musk. It just smells like freshly ice squeezed lemonade. That is it. Your own cologne at number six. Coming in number five is an amazing hot weather fragrance. It's gonna leave a crazy scent trail. And especially for the price you can find it at, at some Canadian discounters, you cannot go wrong with this fragrance. Now, for the price point, if you're expecting something overly complex, you're just not gonna get it with this. You could be slightly disappointed. It's rather simplistic composition. If you are looking for a great tea-based fragrance, you're not really going to get that in this. You'll get a little bit, but it might not be to your liking. But for me, I love this fragrance. This is coming from the house of Nishane, and that's Wulong Cha. 
Now for me, I get more of the citruses and I get that for a long period of time. But then as it dries down, some of that fig comes in, I mean, some of that tea comes in very lightly, but I get a lot of fig, fig and musk, a lot of it during the dry down time. This performs like a champ. You will get washed for at least eight hours, if not more. Now, I'm gonna be the first to make this comparison because nobody else I have seen have made this comparison, at least the people I watch. If you don't want to pay the money for this fragrance because it's rather simplistic and you don't know if you like it and you want an affordable version, a $20 version of this fragrance, go with Banana Republic's 78 Vintage Green. You get that tea, figgy, citrus, musky fragrance in this as well, except for this is a tad bit greener because it has some green notes in here. I love them both, but they do serve the same purposes. So I'm gonna be totally honest, but I love them having them both. And that's number five. That's Nishane Wulong Cha. Coming in number four is an amazing scent. I did a first impressions on this not too long ago off a sample. And I told y'all before I even edit this video or upload it, I was going to the website and purchasing it with my own money. And I did that. This fragrance is a love at first sniff. It is very clean, exotic, and refreshing. This is coming from the house of Monteith Olfactor. And this is Makai. You have to love a musky fragrance, like musk, in order to like this fragrance. This is very clean, soapy. It's almost airy, like the ocean the fresh ocean at some exotic location crashing up against the rocks or the sand. You can smell the air. You get these tropical fruits that makes it very sexy. And you got some woodiness. Now, after I did this video, it took me a while. I was like, man, this smells like something that's very pleasant. You know what this smells like to me? If you ever had those, and I hope you all use them, those downy unstoppables that you put in the wash before you wash your clothes and it has it smelling real fresh. They have one that's like tropical or something like that. I believe it's like an orange or pinkish or a peaches top. That's what this smells like. So you're going to smell like almost fresh linen is what you're going to smell like. And when it's hot outside, you can't go wrong with that kind of composition. That's at number four. That's Makai. Coming in number three is arguably one of the best citrus fragrances in the game, period. You're going to get great longevity and sillage. When the heat hit this, it is a stunner, a head-turning fragrance for sure. Some people will say it's definitely unisex, partially lean and feminine because of the fruity, floral aspect of this fragrance. This is coming from the house of Mancera, and this is Sicily. Y'all see how much I use. This is a stunner of a fragrance, man. The citruses I'm or the fruits I mostly get, I get a lot of white peach. I get a lot of peach. A lot of peach. And peach is often used in feminine fragrances, so I understand why people would see that way. So I get a lot of peach. I get a crisp green apple. Of course, I get like some orange and stuff, but those are the two major citruses I get popping off of my skin that really show up. I get a lot, and I mean a lot of violet, and I do get some jasmine. Y'all know how I feel about jasmine. I'm open about my biases about jasmine. I hate jasmine heavy fragrances. Y'all know that, so I'm just honest about that. But this is extremely tolerable because those fruits really take over, and it's grounded by a woody, musky base. Nothing else I need to say about this fragrance. I probably need to do a full review on it, although I talked about it at nauseum. This is at number three from the House of Mansur. That's Sicily. Coming in number two is my favorite citrus fragrance within my collection. This is citruses straight up. The woody, musky, kind of like base that it gives and it's really not a base because this is a fairly linear fragrance i'm gonna be totally honest it's just to ground the fragrance and make it not all citrus it's like they had to add that this is like all of the citrus it's a little bit tangy tart beautiful grapefruit note some lime pedigree oh my god lemon 
Orange. Mm, 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 mm. Coming, nobody really talks about this fragrance, and I understand why. It comes from an expensive house, but these are some of their affordable offerings. This is from the house of Bodicea the Victorious, or Bodicea the Victorious, and that's Energizer. Longevity wise, I'm getting every bit of A plus hours on this, on my skin. This pops in high heat. My favorite citrus dominant fragrance. This is all citrus within my collection. That's at number two, that's Energizer from the house of Bodicea the Victorious. Coming in at number one. Now I said I wasn't ranking these, but this is my favorite hot weather fragrance within my collection, period. It's not even close. If I live somewhere like an exotic island or somewhere exotic like Greece, where everybody take that picture. If I lived in Miami, maybe San Diego, which is absolutely beautiful. I love that city, the gas lamp district. This would be my signature scent. I will wear this all the time. This is an exotic island women with their tatas out, man. Oh my God. God, this is, you smell this, you just automatically see beautiful half-naked people. It's, it's exotic. Absolutely. You cannot look at the notes on this because the notes aren't going to remotely tell you what this smells like. Looking at the notes, you're going to be disappointed. Trust me, just buy a sample. Everybody I know who has purchased this off my recommendation absolutely love this fragrance. Longevity up in the 9, 10 hour range for a freshie. This is from the house of Raymond Montegal. And this is La Isla Blanca from the Ibiza line. Now it's aldehydic. I don't know what is used to make the aldehyde um, accord, but I'm getting some bergamot. I'm getting some other tropical fruits. I'm getting some saltiness like the sea. I'm getting a lot of saltiness within this fragrance. Not really ambroxan heavy, just a lot of saltiness. I'm getting a little bit of zing to it as well. Some woodiness. This is, and he's his own review. Number one, my favorite hot weather fragrance within my collection. I will recommend this to everybody. Now, if you don't like those salty fragrances, I probably wouldn't. That's from the house of Raymond Montegal, La Isla. Blanca. So that was my top 10 list of white t-shirt fragrances within my collection for 2021. I hope all the other people who I tag uh, will get an opportunity to do this tag video again. It was Big Bear Business, CJ City TV, Darren the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and um, Ross Carlos over at TLTG Reviews. Um, I know they all got great collections. I like to see what they have now. If y'all see fragrances that I just mentioned and you know I own other fragrances and you want to know why it's not in, in this top 10, just understand because I didn't want to put it in there. It's really nothing else to it. 2021, this is how I'm feeling. In 2022, I might reach for a different 10. In 2023, it might be a different 10. When you're only doing the top 10, everything can't be in the list. This is what I like. You don't have to like what I like. I don't have to have, like what you like. But you know what we both have to do is enjoy the fragrances we buy, the fragrances we wear, regardless of the price. If you enjoy it, wear it. Let it make you feel good. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you the way I greeted you. And that's in the universal language of peace.